bearings, we have plain bearings like this in the crankshaft. And also we have other plain bearings with soft metal. You see the copper here? With soft metal in the camshaft. The camshaft, look. Those circles, circle, circle, and circle, they have bearings like this. In those in those main journals, main journal, main journal, main journal. In the main journals of the camshaft, you have other plain bearings. Look at this. The oil suction from the oil pump in the bottom enter here, lubricate the bearings of the crank, goes up, lubricate the bearings of the cam, and goes up, goes up, and lubricate the rocker arms, and goes down for gravity. Once again. Later we are going to study that, that circuit completely, but today is only to understand the engine. The oil pump, because the oil pump have a gear connected with this, you see? The oil pump suction the oil, and the oil immediately is pressurized, and the oil lubricate the bearings, the plain bearings of the crank and goes up for internal cavities in the block of the engine and lubricate the bearings of the cam. And goes up, 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 up. Normally, normally the oil goes internally through this pipe, the push rod, the push rod. Enter here, lubricate this, lubricate the valve. And here goes, because here we have other cavities internally and goes for gravity, for gravity and drops here again in the oil pan. Anybody follow me? Ah, wow! Tomorrow we are going to remove this cover in one engine outside. We are going to start the engine and we are going to see when the, when the engine is running the valves opening and closed and the oil going out and lub lubricating here and going down for gravity. Ah, of course, when the oil reach that point is at atmospheric pressure. But when the oil is in the bottom, in the, in the bearings, uh, of the crank and cam is at high pressure. For that reason, the oil system is considered non-closed system, semi-closed semi system. It's closed until this point and after that open on top. Good, no? Mm -hmm. This is the path of the oil. Pay attention. When the oil reach that point, that point, if the valve and the spring is here, and here we have a pipe in the guide where the where the valve is 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 moving. And around this this guide we have a seal, a special seal. Now we are going to disassemble the head. We are going to see the seals. We are going to analyze the seals. Pay attention. The guide. Look, the, the, this valve is moving. You see the mark in between this point and this point. Yeah, this is the typical movement of this valve. Pay attention. The cylinder here is the guide of the valve. If the valve and the guide have too much play and the seal on top is, is broken, what happens when the oil reach the rocker arms? The oil, the oil enter here, enter here, and enter in the combustion chamber, and you have blue smoke. blue smoke. For that reason, my friends, always, 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 Oh, in that engine, I have constant blue smoke because the, the valves are free, too much play, and the oil penetrate over there. Too much people say, Mr. Lopez, oh, it's possible that the oil enter here. Yes, but not too much. I mean, later we are going to talk about pistons, but uh, in the piston, you have two O-rings on top and one O-ring in the bottom. The O-ring in the bottom is hollow, it's that one. It's located in this group, in the group number three. You see? And the groove, the channel, the group number three in the bottom have a couple of drills. You see the drills? And the drills are connected here. Those drills and the drills are connected here. What is the meaning of that? Look at this. When the piston is moving like this, up and down, and the crankshaft is moving, additionally, the diesel engine, they have jets, and inject oil here. 
to keep lubricated the cylinder. The oil enters here, penetrates those drills, and returns down. No pass on top because the compression ring and compression ring here don't allow that the oil pass here. The oil enters here and through the drills goes down for gravity again into the oil pan. The function of the last O-ring, the last O-ring, that one here, the name of that O-ring, hollow, is oil controller ring. And the function of those drills is the oil enter here and the oil return here. It's difficult that the oil penetrate here because those O-rings avoid that. Of course, if the O-rings, the compression rings on top, those compression rings on top are broken, the oil pass, of course. But uh, normally, 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 in normal conditions, if the engine is in good conditions, if you have blue smoke, it's problem on the valves, not on the piston rings. Of course, if the piston rings are broken, yes. That's clear? All right.